Hey guys, welcome to truckertrack.com. We have been slammed at the store, so uh, it has been a little bit nuts. We're gonna pan around here really quickly. Got cats, cases, and cases, and more cases. A lot of case equipment in here right now. One thing I wanted to look at while we're in here talking about case dozers is the 1150K. 1150K came with the sprockets that actually have the bushings made into them. Now, that is factory case tracks. What that is, is just no piece of pipe bushing up on top of the, uh, or actually the pipe bushings wrapped around the pin that gives it a spot for it to turn. I think they have one set of rails up on the rack. So let's see if we can't look at a master pin and see what it looks like. So, you look right here, this actually spins. You see that moving right there. And also, just as a side, these are called mud hose. When a sprocket comes around, it'll squish the mud out, keeps the impaction down or impacting around the, uh, around the chain. Now, Caterpillar has the System 1 undercarriage. It's way over-engineered. And once it goes bad, it all goes bad. At least the, cape, the cat, or sorry, messed that up. The case pipe bushing, when it goes bad, it only goes bad in that link. Hey, look, it's Logan. Say hi, Logan. That was good. Look at him. He played that really cool. Logan's about eight foot tall. Anyway, so everything on the undercarriage is pretty standard. So uh, front idler, top roller, sprockets, all that kind of stuff, going to be standard. So you're going to be asking me, what can we do for undercarriage on that? You're going to have to change that over to conventional. You're not going to be able to get that set of rails anywhere but from case. And I promise you, you're going to pay for the teeth in that. So hey, keep liking and sharing. Keep hitting us up on Dirt Perfect. Keep liking on our channel. Keep commenting. We're going to do some drawings and give away some t-shirts and stuff here pretty soon. So hey, if you begin with the best, you won't need the rest. 